Hello, this is Noreen from Joy of Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Also, I give away the demo card, so if you're a first-time subscriber, put your email in the comments and I'll email you back and let you know if you won the card. Also, make sure you watch the video all the way through because you never know, I might give the card away to anyone or I might do, be doing card kits or swaps or something. So anyway, now let's go make a card. Today's card is a masculine card and I'm going to do a birthday, but originally I did this for Father's Day and I know there's only a week left for Father's Day, but I wanted to show you what the Father's Day looked like. And this is also a fun fold. So this is really quite neat. And then we're going to be using uh, Whiskey Business, the decanter, the cup, the lime, and the straight up. And then we're going to use best year for both. If you're doing a birthday, there's a happy birthday to you and a happy Father's Day. So that's convenient. And then we're going to be using stitched uh, rectangle frames and we're going to be using the third uh, largest. And then the only colors we're going to use is basic white, basic black, and also simply elegant. And when you're choosing a pattern paper, a DS paper, just be aware of the direction the pattern is going. That's the only thing I want to kind of forewarn you about. You don't want to cut this one going this way and on um, something that's going this way. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is a fun fold here and it just goes right underneath, right like that. So what we're going to need first is two pieces of the basic black and we're going to cut one piece five and a half by eight. So I'm going to do five and a half. And I usually don't show you cutting paper because it's just kind of a waste of time. But in this case, it's not. So five and a half by eight, like so. And then we're going to score at two. So I'm going to score here. And then we're going to score here at four. So that's the first piece. Second piece, we're going to do five and a half and then four and a half. So now I'm going to score this at a half, which is easier to do on this other side here. So a half an inch and then we're going to score at two and a half. Like so. So here's the card all laid out. So we're going to go up on a mountain, down, flat, up on a mountain down. So this is the longer piece of paper. This is the five and a half by eight. And I scored on the eight side going down. So right here, I'm going to make the mountain here, just like that. You see how these two are? And then this one, this four here, I'm gonna go the opposite direction, like so. So you got a mountain and a valley and flat. This other piece we scored at a half and then at two and a half. And this half is actually going to fit on the back side here. So we're going to take this half score line and we're going to go up or like so. So it's going up and this score line we're going down. So it'll look like that. Now we need to put these two pieces together. And the first thing you need to get is a piece of tear tape. And by the way, all the dimensions and the supplies for everything is in the body of my video. So just click the down arrow when you first pull up the video and it'll all be listed there. They're all links. You can place orders with me directly. Um, and get all the dimensions of the card. So you don't have to be frantically writing it down now. Just go to the body of my video. Now I'm taking this tear tape and I'm kind of doing a, a measurement with my eye here, seeing how long of a piece I need. And we're gonna take this piece here, because this goes under like so. And we're gonna put the tear tape on top. And the reason why we're using tear tape and not snail is because the tear tape is a lot more, um, sturdy you know it, it'll it'll hold it so i put the tear tape on if you come up a little short just uh tear this off and then take another little piece of the tear tape and put it on top and just take 
that little piece off it'll be fine or if you go a little over just tuck it in it'll be it'll be good now when you put these two together this card does stay a little open and i i do have this weighted down in here and we'll get to that it's kind of cool and because the other card that i made was way open like this so there's a lot of bulk to this card so it's really important when you put these two pieces together to not get them really really close because it does need that little bit of room to fold so to make it pop up a lot less just i mean get it really close but not too close so it impedes it closing so i gave it like a tiny 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 little gap so i can make sure it folds a little uh, better when we put it down now i'm going to give it a good score again with it all put together so take all the folds and give them their own nice fold because it does make a difference so i'm gonna just keep doing that a bit and that's how you put the base of the card together now we're going to make these pieces in the front and i use simply elegant now make sure that you've got your pattern going the direction you want it so i'm going to go ahead and snail these together and like i said all the dimensions are in the body of my video but you're going to cut the basic gray you're going to cut three of these four inches by one and three sixteenths and then you're going to do the ds paper three and three quarters by one and nine sixteenths and you're going to get three of those so i made sure that my paper is all going together now another little trick here i'm going to put this first one on and then i'm going to line it up with the next one so go now go ahead and grab your two other pieces and snail the back and then i'm going to line up my basic gray right with the other one and i'm going to line these up so the space that i'm using for each is about the same on the ends and then i'll line up the third one here and i'm going to do the same thing just so you're not a little cattywonky on your pieces because they are right next to each other so those are these three pieces then i took another piece of ds paper from the simply elegant suite as well and i took this pattern here just you know it all matches it all has that gold and these two are cut 1.75 by 5.25 now like i said these are all in the body of my video so just click in there and you'll be able to pull up all the dimensions so you don't have to write them down now i'm going to take these and i'm going to go ahead and put them in the card and they go on these two ends so this is going to be the white piece these are the two ends and these are the fronts so i'm going to put this on and it goes all the way up just stick it in between the scored lines and take another one all the way up and make sure that they're not like upside down so uh, make sure they're going the right direction and put that there now for the piece in the middle this white piece which is basic white is 3.75 by 5.25 and then you want to cut out a piece of basic white for the front here and you're going to use the third largest rectangle stitched frame and you're going to cut this out like so now for the backing for this you're going to take a piece of basic uh, black and you're going to cut this out three and a quarter by four and five eighths now let's go ahead and do some stamping so from whiskey business i'm going to grab the decanter the glass and then from best year i'm going to do happy birthday to you because father's day is almost right around the corner so it's a little late for that but let's go ahead and do the decanter and um stamp this on the one you cut with the rectangle stitched frame now this stamp is one that you don't have to use the um stampin pad for and usually i recommend that you do anyway but not for this stamp set when you use the stampin pad and you and if you push down too hard it gets um, mushy so don't don't push on it too hard 
ink it up and just use a hard surface. So there's the decanter and same thing for the glass. Just ink it up and lightly put it down. Don't give it a lot of pressure. And if you're doing a lot of cards in a row, you might even want to clean it off in between because the more ink you have on there, the more likely it's going to mush. And then we're going to grab that happy birthday to you from best year. And like I said, if you're doing a last minute uh, Father's Day card, use the Father's Day, happy Father's Day from that same set. So and I'm going to put this down here. And just like the uh, whiskey business, this stamp will also mush. If you push too hard, you give it too much ink, use the stamping pad or, or, you know, you're using them, you know, you're doing many in a row, just clean them off in between. So there's a happy birthday to you. And then from Whiskey Business, we're going to do the straight up. Now, before we stamp this, grab a piece of that DS paper and you should have like a little uh, scrap. And, and this is a half an inch by five and a quarter and go ahead and snail that up and if you notice I'm using this little silicone pad these things are awesome that's also in the body of my video all the supplies and everything and this really keeps my glass uh, clean and I don't have a bunch of glue and, and tape on it so it's amazing and, and now we're going to stamp the straight up and ink it up and just give it a light bit of pressure. Don't give it too much because it'll it'll uh, glob up on you. So that looks good. And then there's a little lime twist also in that set. And I'm just gonna put it down here in the corner like that. Now let's do the easy part. Let's go ahead and put this inside. And I do give away the demo card. If you are a first time subscriber or you're already subscribed but you never want a demo card, put your email in the comments and say, hey, I want to win the demo card. You got to put your email or I can't talk to you. And um, you can see if you won the demo card, I give out both so I don't keep cards. So anyway, that's the easy part. Now we're going to put these two front pieces together. So go ahead and just snail it up and put it on top of the black. Now we're going to weight this down a little bit because there are so many folds. It needs a little bit of weight. So what I've done is I've taken four pennies and some glue dots and I'm just going to put my glue dots on these pennies and I would normally do with this with my take your pick tool but my desk has eaten it I have no idea where it went but it's gone the the desk went no 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 I must eat your stuff so no matter how much you clean up anyway and then I'm going to take these pennies and I'm just going to put it on the back now this will do two things one it'll give it weight so it'll fold a little uh better than it would without the weight and then two it also gives it like a dimensional without using a dimensional so these uh slide in a little better it, there's a little bit more of a gap and then after we do the pennies we're going to grab the tear tape again and it's really crucial you use tear tape and not snail we need this to be able to stick so i'm going to put it on uh, some on the pennies some on the paper on each side of the pennies and just you know kind of measure it out and then go ahead and take the tape off and hey while you're in there getting the measurements for the cards and everything please like and subscribe i'm like two seconds away from being monetized on youtube <laughs> even though they stick commercials on my videos i don't get paid for that um, so if you could like and subscribe and watch my videos all the way through, I would really appreciate it. So we're going to put this piece now that it's all assembled, we're going to put this to the side and put on these pieces first. So you know how this opens here. There are two of those pieces here and then there's one in the middle here. So we're going to take one side of this piece. And we're going to open this up and we are going to put it on the very edge in the very corner. So they, you know, line up right there. And then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to put it on the other corner. Make sure that they're all lined up like that. Okay. And then you're going to take this and you're going to fold it and then only do one side on the left side so if you did them on the right they got to be on the left okay so i'm going to put this all together like that hold it closed and i'm going to put this 
in the middle like that and now it opens so we've got our two cards here this one i've weighted down with the pennies and everything and you can see that when it's natural it just kind of opens like that and when i don't have it down it opens like that this one's definitely um a bigger you know amount here so what we're going to do is we've got these pennies that's what that's there for primarily and of course to to get these other two pieces to slide i'm going to take those make sure it's the right way up and i'm going to put that right in the middle now it's tear tape so once you put it down it's down so just kind of make sure it's straight and that's it see how much it lays down now it's so much better with all that weight so and that's the card don't forget i give away the demo card so if you like the card and if you want it you can win it by putting your name and your email address and say hey i love the card and you can see if you want I've, i'm giving away two so that'll do it for me thanks bye